Law enforcement agencies in Colorado are pouring millions of dollars into AI tools that are being sold as efficient solutions to reduce crime. But as the technology develops, the impact on the civil rights and data privacy of Coloradans paints a very different picture. For example, predictive analysis algorithms often pull police data that is historically discriminatory and full of racial bias. The algorithms then reinforce and even amplify systemic inequity based on that discriminatory data. What's especially troubling is the staggering scale of mass surveillance that's happening to us. Most of us never agree to be constantly monitored and analyzed by facial recognition software, license plate readers, and predictive algorithms, and we don't have a way to opt out. Since law enforcement can use this data to track and predict people's routines, movements, and who they associate with, there are some serious Fourth Amendment concerns with how this tech is used. The courts have said that police actions, like attaching a GPS tracker to a car, for example, are limited by the Constitution. But what happens in a world where agencies don't need a physical device to track you anymore? The laws become much less cut and dry. And to make matters worse, these AI models are black boxes, meaning the public can't see how they think or challenge decisions made by them, and yet they are shaping who gets flagged, stopped, and questioned by law enforcement. Our newest report breaks down the real impacts of AI policing on privacy and due process, and it reinforces the importance of scrutinizing the surveillance tech that's challenging our constitutional rights, because we can't afford to let it go on unchecked.